Hey, I'm John from Hilltop Camper and RV, and I'm just chilling in the 265 RLS. It's a J-Flight 2023 from Jayco. Wanted to tell you more about it. I got out of my chair for you, Hilltop customer. Well, let me show you what's so great about this uh, J-Flight from Jayco. So we start with safety, right? And any good, but any good house has to have a good foundation. And it all starts for Jayco with the frame. These frames are designed by Jayco custom built by Lippert. So they're not going to the store and saying, hey Lippert, what do you got for us? They are saying, this is what we want for this camper. Can you build it? They build it, they get it to Jayco. A couple of great things about these frames. First of all, you see the integrated A-frame. That helps with your safety, that helps with your control as you're going down the road. This A-frame is welded in up here and back to the frame back here as well. So that really helps out. You've got uh, more outriggers. So that means more spots along the way for your walls to be attached to the frame. Super important in keeping your RV safe, damage free, uh, and also uh, you got the cross members as well. So everything going across, spaced closer together than other brands. It's one of the great benefits of having a Jayco. It's one of the reasons why Jayco offers that two year limited warranty where other brands are just giving you the one year. You get two full camping seasons because Jayco stands behind their product. They're building it right from the beginning. Um, you've got this diamond shield right here. So you got uh, uh, stuff coming up against the, the unit here as you're going down the road. There's a lot of wind. It's like a hurricane hitting that thing all the time. You've got great protection here. This is steel. You feel some others around the uh, industry. You'll feel some rubber. You also uh, have an Asdell protection back there. So that's going to be basically uh, water resistant for you too. You see on this, uh, this Jayco here, we've got the aluminum side. Some people are a little bit afraid of the aluminum side. Why? It is susceptible to hail damage. There's no question about that. But one great benefit of aluminum side is it tends to be a little bit lighter. And with Jayco siding here too, this crimping here uh, really helps protect it because as it's outside, as your unit's outside, it's wanting to expand and contract with the heat in a single day, it'll expand and contract. Jayco uses a thicker aluminum than other brands. And what that does is, is fight that expansion and contraction and helps reduce the amount of opportunities for it to leak as well. So you hear about the leak in RVs, and yeah, that does happen. But Jayco uh, is really uh, doing everything they can uh, and really better than their competition to eliminate that problem. You got great pass-through storage here. You've got a a griddle we'll talk about in just a second. You see these rock solid stabilizers and they are just that. Uh, everybody at Jayco is really excited about these rock solid stabilizers. They're new for 2023 and uh, the word on them is they're much more effective than the, the old scissors uh, stabilizers, which frankly I don't think we're all that bad to begin with, but these rock solid ones really help it be rock solid when you're when you've got them down. You've got the G20 windows. Those not only will uh, get you some privacy, uh, because they're tinted, but they're also keep the heat out. They're going to reduce the UV rays. They're going to help protect your furniture inside the unit as well. Got an awning going all the way across the top. You see the LED lights underneath. You've got the marine grade speakers here as well. You got a sp spot to hang your TV and a little cable satellite output right here too, so you can hang out outside. I love these steps. These are Lippert solid steps, and they are really really important when you have big people, or really kind of anybody can shake a camper. As you've been in one of those things where the steps are hanging off, these things, you're not going to shake the camper. Pretty cool. Come around the back. Like all uh, the, the tires on a Jayco, even your spare tire is going to be a Goodyear tire. And that's got a six year warranty on that tire. So these are really good quality American main tires. You've got a, a roof ladder because you've got a roof that you can walk on. Yes, they've uh, done tests uh, compared to competitors. I mean, you're talking about a roof that's probably about twice as good as, as any of their better competitors. Uh, 4,500 pounds is what you can get up there. They've tested it with cinder blocks. Um, they've seen, and they didn't, you know, they didn't have any uh, breakdown of the roof. They've seen other competitors, you know, 22, 2300 pounds. Uh, they've had collapses up on there. So if you want to get up there and do some maintenance, you can do that. But it does come with backup camera prep. Uh, also, just look at all the lights in the back, right? So you've got just tons of spots 
um, where your lights are going to light up. They're going to let you, again, a safety factor. Jayco never, never goes short on safety. They want to make sure that when you're out there and you're driving and you have intentions to change lanes or whatever, everybody around you knows what you intend to do. This unit is just over 31 feet. It's about 6,100 pounds. And one of the places that can add some weight are these slides. Uh, and because of that, Jayco takes great measures to make sure their slides are really, really sturdy. Um, these slides are tested so much and they have um, kind of a special feature among them. If you look at them from the side, and we'll give you a look at that, they look like they're kind of angled down. And we've actually had customers that said, well, I can't buy a Jayco. You guys don't even know how to make a straight slide. Well, that's fully intentional. And the reason for that is that that design, and I'm not an engineer, so uh, I, I don't know if I'll be able to fully explain this, but that design is able to help them um, create a bigger seal, a better seal rather. Um, and so uh, it kind of, when it goes in, it kind of goes in at an upward angle and then straightens out and that creates a stronger seal. Speaking of the seals on the slides, um, you've got rubber on both sides. So there's protection against keeping the rain out, keeping the dirt out as that slide is sliding in. Um, and so it's just, they've gone to every measure to, to think of stuff on these slides. And they use PMAX on the floors, which is stronger than the plywood. It is really specially built for these slides so that they can handle things of that kind of weight. Also on the side, got just a little storage compartment uh, on the outside here. And above that, you'll see an outside shower too. Uh, and that outside shower uh, provides hot and cold water. Um, and so that's somewhere you can, you can clean off if you're just coming from the beach or something like that. One other thing to note too, if you've got water in the roof, and we've actually got a little water on our roof today and you can see exactly it's doing its job. Uh, you can see the, the drippage coming off of here. So these are designed so that water is going to obviously come down to the sides and it's going to go to this little drip spot, come around to the side. So it's not gonna be hanging over your front door. It's all gonna come off to the side here and it's doing its job right there. Great example. Thank you for helping us out today, drip spot. And as we come back around to the front, I failed to mention the electric tongue jack and your two 20 pound tanks. Time to go inside. All right, coming up these great stairs. I'm not even shaking the camper. Did you notice that? All right, I got to start here. Customers talk about this all the time. I talk about it all the time. This is awesome. I mean, if you're just, <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're retiring. Maybe you're retired. Maybe you just have a lot going on in your life. You want a great camper, place to hang out, place to be with your family. Maybe just with your wife, maybe just with your husband. I'm a comfort zone home guy. I want the air conditioner. I want the heater. I want the bathroom. And I want a recliner. And right on the other side of me is going to be the TV where I can just hang out to. This is absolutely fantastic. Great design too. Stacy Stewart um, does their designs at Jayco as well. And these recliners are really enjoyed by our customers. They talk a lot about how comfortable they are and they really are. You've got a lot of sleeping space in this. If it's uh, more than just you in the bed, this bed um, is a jackknife sofa. So this jack, jackknifes really easily into a bed. And it's a bed there. You also have a dinette that becomes a bed. Let me show you that. So if you want the bed here where the dinette is, by the way, it's a really good sturdy table for sitting around here, but um, you just take the leg off, you put the table portion down here, you lay the cushions across, and you've got yourself another bed. By the way, if you're ever in a Jayco, make sure you do sit down. These are actually better padded, higher density foam, four inches on these pads. You're not going to crush these cushions. So uh, it's actually going to be very comfortable. Storage underneath too, pretty cool. And then of course, right next to that, you've got uh, your entertainment center. You've got some storage up top. You've got some storage up in the bottom. You've got a stereo. You've got a spot to put a TV too. We can put a TV in for you. That's fine. You're going to get a better price at Walmart. Did I say that? Am I fired? Um, but, but put a TV in there and... and uh, That'll be a great spot for, for when you're using your recliners. In the uh, kitchen, tons of space to put all your stuff, all your salt and pepper, all your whatever, dressings. Kansas City barbecue sauce. I used to live in Kansas City. Um, Q39 is my recommendation. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, you've got a great uh, refrigerator here as well. This one, a 12-volt uh, refrigerator too. You've got the freezer up top. You've got the microwave. You've got the burner. And it's got three burners, actually. Uses uh, This glass becomes a little bit of a black backsplash, too. Um, You've got a great spacious sink as well, space underneath the sink. So you really got everything here um, that you need. It is really good space, especially for a couple. It's just two of you. 
there's a good amount of space in this thing. Uh, let me show you the bedroom. You see an RV queen sized bed there in your bedroom. What I like about um, this bedroom is you got the space for storage next to the bed, including some racks where you can hang some clothes as well. You've also got an outlet right next to the bed too, and good light over the top if you want to do some reading or something like that. And I got one more surprise for you. Storage underneath the bed, all kinds of space to put all your stuff underneath there. But where do you pee in this place? Well, it's right here, and got the toilet there, pretty basic, foot flush there. You've got a sink as well, mirror. What I really like about this bathroom is it's got a lot of storage space in the bathroom, and it's got a really spacious shower. And if you haven't been in one of the Jayco showers, I encourage you to party in there. Uh, and that includes jumping up and down, because there's plywood underneath the shower, and that's going to make sure that your pee cup is not loosening up as it does in other brands, because when you use that shower a lot, that thing starts to shake and rattle and, and loosen up a little bit and create some slow leaks. That is really tough for an RV. This has got a plywood underneath the platform so that it is going to prevent that. It's just one of the many steps that Jayco takes to make sure that you've got a good camper from the get-go so that they're not going to have to service that warranty. They don't, want it, they don't want you to have to bring it in for warranty. You might. But here's the good thing for you. You've got two years to do that. You've got two full camping seasons. Jayco's got to make sure they build the best product they can the first time. And that's a perfect example of something that they do that you don't see. So it's my job to tell you. So I hope you just took notes on that. Plywood floors, real plywood floors, not OSB. So you're going to have uh, uh, tongue and groove, 5 8 inch plywood floors. Huge for the structure of this thing. Uh, you've got some... Uh, ducted uh, air conditioning as well. You've got carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, I think I mentioned the awning. Outside. Okay, that's good. I'm going back to sleep. This has been the 265 RLS J Flight. It's 2023 from Jayco. I'm John. This is Hilltop Camper and RV. We hope to see you.